What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shyla. This is Shy Vlogs. A lot of y'all know me from my other channel, which is Melanin Monroe. And on that channel, I spill tea about YouTubers and Instagrammers, mainly YouTubers. So, on this channel, I spill tea about myself. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to tell you guys about the time that I caught my husband cheating with a tracking device. So, yes, um, before I get into this video, yes, we are still married. Yes, this was while we were married, but it was at the beginning of our marriage, and it is what it is. It happened, we got past it, it never happened again, but it happened, and I feel like it was an interesting story. We can look back at it and laugh now. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so me and my husband got married on February 14th. 2014 um yeah so we got married and it was kind of like I guess what you would call like a shotgun wedding or a shotgun marriage because we I think that's what you call it like when you just just get married like we didn't have no wedding it was nothing like we literally went to the courthouse and we were married and so we got married to prove a point, honestly. Like, me and Chris, like, we loved each other, and, you know, we were in love, but we also got married to prove a point because nobody expected me and Chris to work out. So when we first got together, we didn't realize how much work marriage was because we just, we didn't really think it through, you know? Like, usually when people get married, they go through a relationship for a certain amount of time, and then they get engaged for a certain amount of time, and then they get married. No, we just went from, we got in a relationship, and then we were getting married. Like, we literally got in a relationship in May, and we got married the following year um, in February. So it was like, no, it was just, we just, bam, 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 we, we did it. So, um, <laughs> fast forward to, like, let's say September of 2015, so, I mean, of 2014, so we got married February 14, 2014, and now I'm talking about September 2014, uh, I'm confusing myself, but yeah, September 2014, and me and Chris's birthdays are nine days apart, and... So his birthday is November, uh, September 3rd, my birthday is September 12th. So for our birthdays, like, we were, like, I kind of went all out for his birthday, and he went all out for mine, but I feel like he was kind of distant, he was acting weird. So I'm, like, trying to figure out, like, what is wrong with you, you know? Like, he just was not acting like he was into me, and I'm like, okay, I can play this game. So... He acted like it was nothing wrong, nothing wrong. But you know, as a woman, when somebody's cheating on you, you just know. And men suck at cheating, so he just wasn't good at it. So he, I set up his email on his phone. Like, I set up everything on his phone, all his electronic stuff. Like, I help him set it up. It's not that he's slow. He's just not into computers and stuff. He can really care less about that kind of stuff. So... I helped him set that stuff up, like, on his phone. Like, he he checks his email, and, like, he hardly even gets on Facebook. Like, he doesn't really care about that kind of stuff. But, so I helped him set it up. So, we, we didn't have an iPhone. Well, he didn't have an iPhone at this time. I did. He had an Android phone. So, there was a texting app that, like, I was like, I'm going to track his text messages. So... Fast forward to like October, <laughs> I figured out like how to get the app on the phone without him knowing. So this I sound like a stalker, but like at this point, like women fall for men harder than men usually fall for them. Like 
I'm not saying that my husband didn't love me then. He just didn't love me the way that I loved him. Maybe because my love was a little more mature. And I'm not making excuses for him cheating me because it ain't no damn excuse. So, he... I don't know how I got the freaking... I don't know. I used to always play on his phone because he had games on his phone that I played and... I don't know, I just used to use his phone because at the time I liked the camera that he had on his phone. But, so somehow I downloaded the app on his phone and on Android phones, you can hide apps. And like I said, he's not like into technology. So he didn't realize that that was the thing. So I downloaded the app on his phone and hid the app on his phone so that he didn't know that the app was there. Okay, so for like the first month, it was really nothing. He wasn't texting nobody. He wasn't really talking talking to anybody like outside of his friends so I don't know around like right after Thanksgiving he decided to start staying out like he was just doing some suspicious things and I still had the app on the phone so I looked on the app and he was texting a female right so but in the app it tells you the phone number, you know, the time. It texts the app as soon as the text message is sent or received. So I'm just watching, watching, and I'm asking him, like, Chris, I think you're talking to somebody else, or I think you're doing this, and he's like, no, why would I do that? The same old damn song. I would never do that to you, blah, 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 okay? So I'm just watching this. I'm watching it play out because I'm waiting for the opportunity. I'm like, okay. So this goes on for a couple days. Like, I didn't wait that long because I couldn't wait that long. So the girl finally was like, come over, you know, because Chris was like texting her, but he never had time to meet her because he'd be at home. Like, he'd work and then he'd go home and it's like, I knew what the fuck was going on. So he wasn't going to be able just to tell me that he was doing one thing. And I'm like, it's just, no, our life is too, it's like too much of a, a schedule, like we just do the same thing, like we have a routine, you know, so I would have been like, why are you doing this, why are you doing this, like just too many odd moves, so he knew that, so then finally his friend, I believe it was his, one of his friends asked him to go out, his friends were in on this, why well, can't stand his friends to this day, I hope they watch this video, but anyway, um, his friends were kind of, they knew about it because they were friends with the girl's friends. So it was kind of like a group kind of thing, I guess. So anyway, to make a long story short, the girl texted Chris and asked her to come, asked him to come over. Chris had already planned on going out with his friends anyway, so it kind of just lined up because she wanted him to come over while they were getting ready to go out. So she sent him the address to the house that where to go right so Chris leaves to go to his friend's house and I text him the address and I'm like I hope you're not about to go to 123 Maple Street because I'm about to meet you there right and he was like he called me like what are you talking about and then I text the girl I'm like um basically I know where you live I know your address and I know that my husband is on his way to see you and um are you aware that he's married you know what I'm saying because she never really asked about a relationship through text messages so Chris never mentioned it so she said no she didn't know that he was married so she immediately texted him because mind you I can see the conversation she's like you didn't tell me you had a wife and Chris basically said there you never asked me <laughs> and so Chris called me and he was like what is going on I'm like I, what are you talking about I'm like somebody told me that you were on your way to somebody's house and over to this address and it, he didn't know how somebody could tell because he hadn't talked to nobody because it, it, it went with the call log so I think it kind of creeped him out that he thought that she told because she texted at the same time <laughs> you have a wife okay so Chris was like, man, I don't know what you're talking about, because he's responding to my text. He's like, I'm not, I'm on my way to my friends. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm on my way to my friends, and we're about to go out. Who? So, fast forward. Okay. Sorry, I had a little, I don't know what happened. My camera just stopped. But anyway, as I was saying, it was the, okay, so it was a couple weeks past, and 
still had the texting tracking device app on his phone. So what the text, what the app did, it te- it tracked the phone calls, it tracked the text messages, and it lets you know the location to where the person is at. It was basically really for like parents to have on kids' phones. So yeah, that's what it was for, but that's not what I used it for. So um. I worked their shift, and I called him, I used to call him, so I called him, and when I left, he was acting like so fishy, <laughs> he was acting like he was so tired, and Chris is a night owl, so that was like red flag number one, I'm like, bruh, you are not that sleepy, he was so excited that his grandparents had our kids, and he was just acting fishy, so I'm like, okay, I know, I know how this goes, bruh, so... I was already prepared to leave work because guess what? I worked third shift, so he was not expecting me to be able to get off work early. Okay, so I text him like a couple hours after I got to work because if he was taking a nap, he would have woke up because like I said, Chris is a night out, so there was no way he was going to bed before I went to work at third shift, which is at 10 o'clock at that job and stay and sleep all night. I just, he, to this day, he still stays up until one and two in the morning and we'll get up at seven or eight. Like he just doesn't, he's not, I don't know, he's just don't sleep, I guess. But, so he was just acting fishy. He's just acting so exhausted. So I just knew. And so I got to work and a couple hours passed. And then, so I was like, let me hop on this, on this app and see what this man been doing. So, I got on there, and what do you know, him and old girl were texting, and she invited him over, and guess what, I had already planned on getting off work, because I had, I had an inkling that something was going on, so, I had somebody come in, um, shout out to her for coming in, she came in for me, and guess what, I texted him, I called him, and when I texted him, he responded. When I called, he didn't answer. So I called again, and then I texted him like, "Look, I'm outside of that particular address, and I'm about to knock on the door." So I was parked behind their house, and guess what? They looked out the window because I could really it was two houses, it was like a duplex, like a side by side in one building, and I didn't know which freaking house was actually hers because she didn't say in the text message so they looked out the window so then I knew which one it was next thing you know Chris must have had called he must have called somebody to pick him up because he knew he didn't just leave he knew he didn't have time to walk outside get in the car and drive off he knew he had to get run outside and get in the car because I was ready to chase his butt and I did exactly that he hopped outside, his friend came and picked him up. Chris, when the dude came, like, pulled in, like, they timed it so well. Chris came flying outside, like, ran and hopped, hopped in the car. And when I tell y'all, if I could have ran him over, I probably would have. That sounds really crazy. But, the man, I see how crimes off of emotion happen. Like, there's no excuse for people to go hurt anybody. But I'm telling you, that feeling when somebody is cheating on you, bro, there's no feeling in the world. Like, it's like, I, I feel like it's worse than labor pains, I'm telling you, because it's just nothing you can do to stop it. At least when you're having labor pains, you know once the baby is out, the pain will stop. But you do not know when somebody breaks your heart when that pain is going to stop. So that's how I felt in that moment. And so I chased him and I chased him. And then I realized, like... Girl, why are you chasing him? You're a boss. Like, first of all, <laughs> he should be chasing you. So I literally, because I called my mom is what happened. I called her while I was chasing him, and she asked me how I lost my damn mind. And <laughs> I was like, why would he do this to me? You know, like, I need to, I need answers. But I, that's why I'm chasing him. Like, he needs to talk to me. Why is he running from me? And then my mom said to me, she was like, he knows that he's wrong, you know? Like, he knows that what he did is wrong, and he can't face you to apologize. So wait, wait for him to come talk to you. 
and I'm like, I'm done. Like, I'm like, I'm divorcing this man. Like, I am not about to stay with no man that has cheated on me, not once, but twice, because I counted the first time as cheating, regardless of if they met up or not. I, I still feel like that's cheating, because it should have never been a conversation for me to intercept, okay? So that's how I felt. So, um... Obviously, eventually, we did talk. Um, Chris's grandfather is a pastor, so he talked to us. And when I tell y'all that our first two years of marriage were hell, okay? Like, it was just so bad. Like, because that was the time that me and Christian have been getting to know each other. And we literally were already married. Like, we just, like I said, we just hopped two steps. Two steps. Like, Bro, we didn't know each other at all. Like, I did things to him, he did things to me. Like, after the cheating though, after he cheated those two times, he still says it just kind of goes as once, but it, it, it doesn't count as cheating to him because he said they just converse. So, just conversation, but he still understands where I'm coming from. He ain't conversing with nobody now, okay? So, um,. Yeah, beyond that, like, as far as us cohabitating, it's, it has been a struggle because, bro, when you come and it's just, it's so different. People say that getting married is just like a piece of paper, but it's definitely not just a piece of paper. It's so much deeper than that because, like, it's just so much deeper than that. Like, you can't just walk away from being married I just I feel like it's a serious commitment and people ask me somebody when I posted the poll on my other channel should I do this video they're like I hope you're not still married to him and you deserve better than that um granted he should have never did what he did but I feel like I knew what kind of man Chris was before I got I decided to marry him and I knew that he was like yeah, just he had never cheated on me before that, so don't let me don't look at me like he has just been he just was a dog and I was just accepting it. But he was just living a life that that's just I guess that's just what they do when they are in the streets. Let's just say that. But um now everything is everything. I'm not telling you to say um, if you're watching this video and you're like, girl. But maybe I should stay with so and so because he cheats on me all the time and you know one day he might not cheat no I'm, that's definitely not what I'm saying what I'm saying is me and Chris got married before we should have got married I'm pretty sure if if Chris and I were not married when this that situation took place me and Chris would not be together right now there's no there's no way that me and him would be me together but the way that I thought about it and the way that my mom got me to think about it, like, all the money and time that you put into divorcing a person, even though he did what he did, um, I could have put that money and time into saving my marriage. Like, my kids, like, deserve to have a mom and a dad and just see love and not just have, see us be in relationship after relationship and it's just it's so much deeper than he cheated and then let's just go separate it hurt and it took a lot of work a lot of me it took a lot of time for me to trust Chris like it took a lot of time like I would still do little malicious things after we started working on our marriage again I would there was other texting apps or the um share my location on his phone I always wanted him to turn that on just because I just was curious like dude you did it to me like you made me this way and it drove him crazy but hey you like they say you made this bed now you gotta I don't know what else to tell you bro that's just that's how that's how it goes so uh, if you're cheating or if you're trying to get your wife back you gotta do what she wants you to do not what she wants you to do but you gotta do what you gotta do to make it work so that is my story time on how i found out my husband was cheating with the tracking device 
they are out there if you're curious but i can say me being me now i would never do that shit now like if i feel like this was cheating on me first of all i mean i know office passwords on his phone and all that shit like i don't really care about that stuff so but if he did that now first i would i would not go through all the hassle that i went through to find him cheating if he's cheating i would just it would just be he was cheating and it would just be over like i what i think we're at mature at a mature enough point in our relationship that i don't know if we just don't have the time and the energy for the stuff that we did at the beginning of our marriage so like i said that was five years ago so i was still in my late 20s i'm in my early 30s now i'm too old for that i am too old and it's just it's, like I said, we got married before we should have, so he was one foot in and one foot out, and I was just two feet in, and we had to learn to, well, I had to learn to love him and be the wife that I was to him, because I'm telling y'all, just because we're together now, it took some work, trust me, so I don't know. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload on this channel. Make sure you go over and subscribe to my drama channel at Melanin Monroe, and I'll put that link in the description box below. Um, I don't know which video I want to do next. I'm going to do another story time, and I do have a collab up with some girls, so look out for that this Saturday. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out should I do my Ohio story time, 16 and pregnant, or the time that I drove a stolen car from Minnesota to Iowa. Comment down below which video you'd like to see, and I will see y'all in my next mother freaking video. Oh yeah, one more thing. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat at um, Ms. Perkins21414 and I'll put it on the screen. And um, you can follow me on Instagram, but follow me on Snapchat because I'm more active on there. I just, me and Instagram, I post on my story, but that's another story for another day. I'll see y'all later.